Mother put her 17-year-old daughter up because she didn't cook for her 20-year-old brother. I don't have anywhere to go. not know if this is a skit or not but by the way the girl's crying i'm assuming it isn't i do not understand why women even have kids sometimes if you're a woman who's overstimulated a lot if you're a woman who can't articulate her words if you're a woman who doesn't like other women and you're always in competition with other women you guys are the ones that shouldn't have kids seriously and i think we need to get to an understanding that being a mother isn't for everybody i hate when people regurgitate and shove this shit down women's throat have kids have kids do this do this not every woman is capable of having kids and this is a perfect example of why you're going to kick your daughter out because she's not making your bum son some food that he can't do himself. Don't get me wrong, y'all. I got five brothers. I know what it's like to have my brother be like, make me a burrito. Hurry up. But getting kicked out because I'm not making him a burrito is wild. Your daughter is supposed to be able to come to you for everything. Your daughter is supposed to be the first person that she can trust as a woman. You ruin that. Your daughter's going to have so many issues leading on into the future. Not being able to trust other women, looking at women as competition, searching for a mother and other women. All you're doing is pushing your daughter into the hands of the wrong things, all because you're being a piece of crap of a mom. This video bothers me, y'all. It bothers me that so many women can't be best friends with their mom. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, you shouldn't be best. You know what I mean, y'all. You can have structure in the home. You can love your daughters. But your daughter should be able to come to you for any little thing. Your daughter should not have to worry about getting kicked out. Your daughter should be raised in a house where she's allowed to be feminine, where she's allowed to be soft, where she's allowed to express herself in a proper manner without getting kicked out. You're going to kick your daughter out into the world by herself with all these fucking weirdos on the street? How, kids do not know how to take care of themselves and we know this and you're gonna let her go out and be in this do it be in the street and do what you know what happens to women that are homeless do you know what happens to women that have to go out in the street and live in a hyper vigilant state to live in survival mode i would never i would never y'all i don't got no kids but i would love a daughter in the future and i would never i could never even imagine doing this in a million years hell no and the thing that saddens me the most is the daughter's crying, the mom saying, I'm going to hurt you, and then calling her names and saying you're a chicken head. Great parenting. And you're a, you're a nurse, it looks like. You help people. That's the field you're in. You can help other people and show up for other people, but God forbid you show up for your own daughter. These are the type of moms that treat you like crap, call you out of your name, belittle you, make fun of you, and then when you leave the house or they kick you out, you got a fiend for yourself and you're struggling for years. When you finally make it and you're the sibling or the family member or the daughter that's distant from everybody, and then they go, why aren't you ever around? You act like you don't know nobody. Don't forget these times. Don't forget when she was crying to you and begging you not to kick her out. Do you know what it feels like for a daughter to sit here and cry to you and tell her? It's making me sad. To tell you she doesn't want to go and to not make her go? That's supposed to be her home. Y'all, I despise women who are like this. I love mothers who are there for their daughters. I love mothers who are, will always be there for their daughters, even through rough times. Because that's the time where you guys should just be closer every time. No family is perfect, y'all. But the moment you kick your daughter out, the moment you disrespect your daughter, the more, moment you dis... Oh, it's just making me so agitated. The moment you don't show her that you are going to be there for her, you have already broken her heart more than you can know. And when she can never get that back and never fix that tear in her heart, you created that. So don't complain later. I'm sure a lot of us have experienced having our moms kick us out, not love us, not compliment us. Criticism comes easy to moms like this. But God forbid you shed a light of love. God forbid you give her a hug. God forbid you sit her down and say, hey, baby, why didn't you make him something? He's 20 years old. She's 17. She should make him something if she wants to. She shouldn't have to. And the fact that you'd be defending your 20-year-old son. I pray to God your 20-year-old son got a job. I pray to God your 20-year-old son has something going for himself and he's giving you money or something. Because the fact that you're treating your daughter like this. This video really rubbed me the wrong way, y'all. Because there's so many women that I know and I've experienced that don't have great relationship with their mom. And they want a relationship with their mom. But they can't because they got moms like this. Imagine trying to run and hug somebody while they're always pushing you away. Imagine always trying to fight for somebody when they never notice you. Imagine always trying to explain yourself when they don't want to hear it. 
Do you know what that does to somebody over time? Do you know what it does to a woman's mindset? It makes me want to cry because like I said, y'all, I've counseled so many women and to see y'all cry and to see you guys go through stuff like this and not get that relationship. And then when you have your daughters, you're scared. You know what I mean? Or you don't know how to be a mom. This all turns into a domino effect. Do better, ladies. Don't have those kids if you're not ready. I would much rather a woman not have a child than to force herself to be a mother when she can't and she's not capable of it. Like I said, women have the capability of po pouring poison or encouragement into your mind. If you're going to be the woman pouring poison into your children's mind and deteriorating their mental health, you might as well just back up now. Seriously, don't even have kids. Kids are not forced upon you. Nobody forced you to open up your legs like a crab leg special. Nobody told you to sit here and Glock luck 3000 these men. Fucking have him wrap it up, get on birth control, or tie your tubes up. Seriously, because if you know you don't want kids, I will never force a woman not to have kids. Because like I said, we see women like this every single day, and these are the women that should not have kids. Please, stay away from men. Do not have kids. Stop trying to procreate. We don't need, we don't need more kids in this world, especially more broken women. We don't need more broken women. I would love to see more happy women. I would love to see more loving women. I would love to see more women who aren't jealous of each other, who actually want to be in each other's company. All this stuff turns into a domino effect all because of the mother at home or because of the father. We don't need no more of this, y'all. This video, oh my God. It made me so sad. Hearing her voice cry and like crack like that, I don't like this stuff. I couldn't imagine calling my daughter names. I couldn't imagine my daughter begging to stay in my house while I'm trying to kick her out. Like I said, y'all. I know what it's like to be homeless. I know what it's like to get kicked out. I know what it's like to have this feeling. And I know what it did to me over time. And I know how untrusting it made me of people in general. So I would not want this or wish this for any young woman. And if you're going through this, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry your mother didn't love you. I'm so sorry you are not heard. I'm so sorry you are not validated. I'm so sorry your mother doesn't hug you and hold you because you appreciate it and you need it. Just know you're deserving of love. Just know you're worthy of love. And I am so sorry. I wish I could hug you. I don't even like hugs, but I wish I could hug you wholeheartedly as a woman because this is so sad. It is so sad to see that these women birth these children just to treat them like that. Oh, man, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm a very empathetic person, and I just don't like seeing women cry. And I definitely don't like seeing mothers treat their daughters like shit. Oh, have a good day, y'all.